pump skid is ready to ship. Just doing a walk around to show you some of the features and the condition as it will leave the warehouse tomorrow. We have a couple actuated valves, some transmitters, and the actual pump that sits in the pump pod. To explain how it works, I'll start on this side. Show you the inlet. The LNG will come in from whatever tank on the bottom of this. That will flange to whatever hose, whatever length of pipe is needed to get to the supply of LNG. It will go into the pump pod the first time it needs to be cooled down very slowly, obviously. And this second one is a vapor return or a cool down. So while the pump is cooling down, you can connect this so the vaporized LNG goes back to a, a vapor return line. Once the pump is cooled down and ready to start, it will then pump out the top into the insulated piping with all the sensors for temperature and pressure and it goes to this point here where it can go one of two directions and these valves will be operated based on um, the PLC they're hooked to and one valve will discharge LNG into whatever's connected to that flange. The other one has two outlets. This pump skid was designed to, to fuel multiple trucks simultaneously. So it can be programmed to fuel into two different dispensers or two different trucks or just the one. But Engineers will finish going through it tonight. It will be ready to ship. And as you can see, everything is intact and ready for installation. Um, these two blue valves are actuated by air. Once installed in the customer's location or wherever it's going to be operated, You'll need to connect an airline that supplies 80 PSI or 100 PSI of air pressure at all times, at which point the VFD and the PLC, the control, will determine which valve gets opened by air and which point of discharge the LNG will flow out of those two outlets. So again, LNG goes in and this is used to cool down or for vapor recovery on the pump pod. And then it discharges up, out, and through this manifold to go between those two options. Whatever valve opens, the LNG will flow from the pump. These other Gauges are there just for the user to see how fast the pump is discharging LNG and the pressure on the inlet. Electrical, it's, it's equipped with all these transmitters. These transmitters will, will read uh, pressure differential, the flow rate, and even the temperature of the LNG. That will be... Uh, need, uh, that will need to be programmed into the PLC uh, and it, they, they come with a 4 to 20 milliamp signal so you can take and read that signal remotely or through telemetry. But the pump skid is in great condition, ready to operate and we'll be happy to do some more training over the phone.